All right, everybody, welcome to Simply Bitcoin, the channel that breaks down all the daily Bitcoin news, fails, meme reviews, software releases. We've got it all, and we've got a special guest with us, our sponsor, Rick from Crypto Cloaks. But before we get started, drop us a like and subscribe. All right, we're going to kick it off right away with the Clark Moody dashboard. So we're looking at a block height of 652,000. Uh, 617. We're looking at a price of 11,452. We're looking at chain rewrite days of 528 and total lightning capacity, slight slip, 1,067.23 Bitcoin. Still nice. Slight slip. Slight, slight, slight slip. I can't say that fine. Slight slip. Slight slip. All right. <laughs> Phil, it's time for the daily fail. <laughs> Everybody saw the video with this, with this, uh, young lady here who poisoned our, our ears with, with that ultra cringe uh, video. And, and this guy uh, decided to, why not put it on the DeFi side? So... We're not going to play the whole thing because we don't want to ruin everybody's day. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna lie, like at least he legit like wrapped it. So oh. there's that, but Jesus, <laughs> it's so cringe. It's like, okay, you know, so um, definitely, uh, um, what is it? Uh, is the most sincere form of flattery imitation? Is the most sincere yes. form of flattery? So I guess that's it, a, a flattering way, but it's. Oh gosh, you know, like doing it to DeFi and it's just so ultra cringe. And of course it's, you know, it's all about the mad gains and. Uh, and what's the, what's the lesson? And then I want to hear the a lesson I, from our guest. I, I, oh boy. Oh my gosh. Okay. We'll let Rick start with a lesson. Cause uh, even I'm not sure what the lesson is. Rick, <laughs> uh, not to put you on the spot. If you don't have one, it's all good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what lesson could you tell our showers? Uh, stick to our showers. Our that viewers. was terrible. That's it. S Stick to Bitcoin because that was terrible. Okay, yes. cool. What about you, Rick? Uh, ah, what about you, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> You're getting all tripped up here. Um, I'd say my lesson for this is just stay away from DeFi. <laughs> yeah, Short and that's sweet. A good one. I like Short it. And sweet. I like it. I like it. Phil, it's time for the daily meme review. All right. So the daily meme for today is brought to us by SwanBitcoin.com. And the creator is apparently, who was it, Rick? I think it's Brecky. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure it's Brecky. We Just think saying. it's Brecky, but shout out to all the dudes and all the dudettes at Swan Bitcoin. Shout out to Swan team. So shout out to the Swan team, exactly. So it's a pretty long meme, guys. So, you know, put on your meme pants. All right. First, I have a mega, mega, mega you guys problem. Hear, right? And the mega problem is I have a lot of cash and I'm watching it melt away. Under a good year for the past decade, the monetary supply expands by 7 to 8 percent. That's my battery draining by 8 percent a year. That's a good year. And this is not a good year for us, right? This is a year where you can make the argument that the battery is going to drain 25 percent. What is the point of all this? What, what am I doing wrong? And of course, the answer is you can't hold cash. And so we bought $425 million. Bitcoin is the best security and the most liquid security invented in the history of the world. This is already one, right? It's one. It's been tested. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of counterparties can trade and trust each other with real-time certainty that uh, collateral has not been double pledged, rehypothecated, and there's no fraud. It's digital gold. It's at least a hundred times better than gold. I think it's probably thousands of times better than gold. Bitcoin is the first perfected digital monetary network in the history of the world. It's never been done before. It's dominating everything that competes with it. There's no reason to believe it won't be 10 times bigger than a hundred times 
times bigger than a thousand times bigger. The dominant player is going to take everything. Who are these? Who are these? Who are these people that's selling this to me? <laughs> and I feel sorry for them. What are you going to buy that's better than what you're selling to me? I just pity them. I don't want to hear that you've got a new idea and you're upset over transaction fees and you'd like to implement smart contracts. You're going to change things. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear that you're going to defend the network to the death against someone that's going to break it or compromise it in any way, shape, or form. What I want is to see a bunch of bitcoins that will lay down in front of the tank in right. Tenement Square. I'm reviewing this. Fight it to the bitter death. I can tell you myself. Every well-intentioned engineer that wants to tinker with the thing, you have to defend the network to the death. It's a beautiful thing, probably the most beautiful achievement in the history of the world. We've invented something extraordinary. Okay. Wow. That, that, that was, was actually difficult. If that doesn't make you buy Bitcoin, I don't know I, what I, the hell will. Seriously, I have goosebumps. That was fantastic. That was amazing. I shout out the whole movie like that. Yeah, I do. Shout out to Swan. Shout out to Michael Saylor. Okay. And shout out to that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think it was an, uh, an S9, right? Mining away. So, man, yeah. Phil, I'm going to go first. I'm going to give it a perfect 12. Because well, it is a perfect 12. You upped me. Oh, Damn it. Was it. So perfect. What about, what about you, Phil? And then we'll move on to our guests. Well, you one upped me. Woo! All right. 11. All right. Okay. And 11. Our guest, Rick, what are you going to give it? I thought I was being ironic and I went 11 because you guys usually do 10s. So I went with 11. 11. <laughs> Dude, nice. that is the highest score we've ever given on Simply so Bitcoin. I mean, don't get me wrong. That was definitely on par with the Matrix. It was. <laughs> have you seen the Matrix? The Matrix <laughs> meme? Uh, have you Matrix seen the Matrix Marmar meme? Yeah, I have. It's good, but <laughs> Jesus. It's. I mean, come on. That is just totally. That that is like right up there. Okay, I'll give it to you. That was a good it's one. Not everything. <laughs> it was. It had a minor in it. Okay, that's when I rate. I was like, I have to. I have to. I have to give it. You know, this is. That's it. It's enough. We, we have enough. to reorganize the whole rating system now. I know, dude. They, they keep upping the bar with the it memes. Everything. It changes everything. It changes the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Phil, it's time for the Daily News, sponsored by me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start it off with the Bitcoin. Okay. Anyway, so the news for the headline, right? I read the news article so you guys wouldn't. Basically, Stone Ridge, which is a huge company, reveals that it's buying $115 million, $15 million of Bitcoin investment. The same reason as Square, the same reason as, uh, the same reason as, as MicroStrategy, right? You know, to kind of hedge against inflation. Here's the article. Let me pull it up. So to kind of hedge against inflation. So shout out to Forbes, you know, for covering this. It made quite a, quite a drop on Twitter. And yeah, you know, shout out to, to Ridge, Stone Ridge. You know, that's pretty cool. It's very bullish. And it's just kind of, you know, kind of reinforcing this prophecy that Bitcoiners have been saying for a while is that, you know, a, a, a company is going to just buy Bitcoin as reserves. So it's coming true. And shout out to Stone Ridge for being the third. So what do you what do you think, Phil? And then we'll move on to our guest. I mean, that is just ultra bullish. That is, you know, great news. Um, I'm interested to see who the next company is. It's it's very um, it, it's very interesting to see these companies. I, I think people expected a longer timeline between companies getting in. It, I mean, it depends on who you speak to, but it it's interesting to see how quickly they're figuring, you know, how quickly they're figuring this out and they're acting on this and kind of wouldn't surprise me if there's some individuals there that, you know, are Bitcoin hodlers themselves. Absolutely, in, you're absolutely you know, obviously right. Obviously, each of these companies as individuals, not just the companies. Yep. A hundred percent. What do, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this, Mr. Crypto Cloaks? What do you uh, think about it? I'd like to say we did it before it was cool. Uh, just saying. A hundred percent reserves, all Bitcoin, <laughs> baby, before it was cool. Just saying. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's actually pretty awesome seeing huge corporations jump in and start backing themselves up with Bitcoin because you know, you know it's about to take off after that. That's the next step. We're, we've been waiting for it. So it's awesome. Absolutely. And, and, you know, I love how you said that. It is the next step. It looks like all the stars, all the, mo the moons, the planets, whatever you want to call it, they're all lining up for Bitcoin. So, you know, I'm looking at this chart, but you guys are not going to understand it, but I'll explain it to you in a second. So basically another public company, Phil, this is the second public company that we've covered 
in the last month just decided to put, you know, their big mining huge dong on the table and they just announced a huge mining data center. Guys, I told you the other time, you know, anything above 10,000 miners is huge. That's a huge mining operation. Well, guess what? They, de they decided to deploy 11,500 S19s. S19s are the are the top of the line. They're one of the best ASICs to get right now. They come from Bitmain, and man, their their total t uh, mining capacity will be 1.265 exahashes. I only know how to say that word right. because Phil helped me out. And the data center has a capacity to deploy up to 30,000 S19s. That's a huge data center, guys. I know. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but another interesting point. You know, they have an electricity cost of 0 0.034 cents kilowatt hour. Guys, just to give you a perspective, in your home right now, you're paying 15 cents kilowatt hour. That's the average price around the United States. So they're paying three cents. Okay, that's much cheaper. That, that's a really, really, really good price, you know? Amazing. So, so man, shout out to... Shout out to them. You know, that's the that, shout out to Marathon. You know, that's I've I, I those mining centers are just it, they're one in a lifetime site and it really gives you appreciation. You know, 10,000 individual machines, right? Each of them costs between three to two thousand dollars, depending on how you get them. You know, so and they were they were very expensive earlier on in the year, too. So, man, just multiply three thousand times ten thousand, right? Multiply three thousand times thirty thousand. These guys are not joking around. What do you think about it, uh, Phil? 1.26 exahashes added to the network for security. Hash rate number go up, man. Like, you kidding me? It's even more people competing. It's, it's just better for Bitcoin. Everyone exactly. Wins. Everyone, <laughs> they make money. You know, the Bitcoin gets, I mean, sorry, the blockchain gets stronger, you know, and it just leaves the rest out in the dust like it has been, you know, since 2017. What about, what are your thoughts on this, Rick? I'm going to say the most secure network in the world is getting more secure by the minute. So it's, I'm bullish as hell, man. I'm all in Bitcoin at this point. There's, there's no way not to be. Absolutely. If you're not at all in Bitcoin right now, you should just stop. You know, there's going to have to be a stack tonight. Just, yeah. just, just stop. Just stop. Uh, okay, so it's just a small stack. <laughs> <laughs> well, dude, I've been laughing. The fire alarm get off, you know. Okay, Wait, crazy Sorry. things. Phil, um, there is a software release today. Why don't you tell us about it? Software releases. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, we got something today, right? All right, so we've got Noddle version 0.1.1f was released. So it looks like they've got uh, LND version 0 0.11.1 .1 included in there. They've got Dojo version 1.8, and we will include all that information down below. That's awesome. What we got. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Shout out to our special guest, Rick AK. You guys know him as the Crypto Cloaks, not Crypto Cloaks, the Crypto Cloaks. Right. You guys want the most awesome 3D printed merch when i say merch we got everything we got grenades we got honey badgers we got the whole deal if you guys want this it's 3d printed it's made right so you guys could zoom it look it comes with cool little you know what are these things called rick i forget anyways are those, are those quills yeah <laughs> quills it comes with quills if you guys want the the dopest 3d printed Thank merch you, go check out crypto cloaks right now we're gonna put of course we're gonna put that link down in the description it's already there he sponsors us so there's no reason not to do it click right now anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the show but don't forget to like and subscribe and tune in tomorrow for another episode of simply bitcoin and no shit cool <laughs>